Let's get drawing! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boy, Halloween's coming up. I can't wait. My favorite candy is candy corns. Oh, oh, I love them. Let's draw a candy corn, okay? I'm gonna start with that kind of like egg shape they are. Boy, last night I had a dream about a candy corn. It was a vampire candy corn. <laughs> I'm gonna make this one a vampire candy corn. That's kind of fun, right? We'll see how it comes out. Okay, so we start with an egg shape like that, okay? It's a little bit of a triangle with rounded points, maybe. And then don't they have those color lines, right? Let's draw those across. See how I drag my hand over the page first to see where I'm going to go? It's kind of like doing a practice run before you actually make the line. Okay, that's a pretty good start. Let's add that face, okay? In my dream, this vampire candy corn was trying to scare me. But he didn't because he was kind of cute and silly. <laughs> Thanks a lot to scare old Cecil here. Okay, we start with circles like that. I'm leaving that space there as like a highlight. Remember, we can use the white of the page as a highlight if we want. Okay, kind of give him like a vampire-y expression with those eyebrows. Yeah, vampires all seem to have that point there, right? I think so. Okay, vampire mouth. You have to have teeth, right? Okay, that's a pretty good start. Vampire candy corn. Alright, what should we add next? Well... I think I'm gonna add his arms and legs next. He was kind of flying around like a vampire bat kind of does, right? Don't they kind of fly? I think so. Now coming across, I'm gonna draw the other arm. See how I kind of dragged my hand over the page? I just wanted to make sure that I'm doing the other arm in the same position so they look like they're symmetrical. I don't know what symmetrical means, but I think it's good. <laughs> Alright, what next? Let's see. He had like that kind of vampire cape kind of thing going on, right? With those big collars. I'm gonna do a loop shape like that and then connect it down. It looks like one of those vampire capes with a big collar in the back, huh? Yeah, cool! Alright, let's do the wing part. Kinda like those vampire bat wings, like that, see? It's kinda like a pointy kind of like umbrella or star shape like that, see that? You can add as many points as you want. Let's have him flying away with his legs hanging down. Alright, now I'm gonna add some details and stuff, okay? There's little motion lines. Kind of shows you that the wings were flapping, right? Adding details is kind of fun. Because you could just keep going and going as long as you have time. Let's see, what should I do next? Ooh, yeah. Let's make it nighttime with like a spooky moon. Alright, I think I might thicken up some of these lines because we're going to add some color, okay? Boy, I can't wait to go trick-or-treating this year. Goldie and Pepper are going to come over. We're going to go trick-or-treating together. I wonder what they're going to be dressed as this year. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I think he had that kind of like beauty mark on his face. Okay. Let's see. Let's get ready to color, okay? What should I start with? I definitely want to fill in the candy colors first. I'm going to start with this yellow. Alright, I'm going to go ahead in and I'm going to color this candy corn, okay? I'm going to go into Super Cecil mode. Here we go. Super Cecil mode!
Okay, I'm back from Super Cecil mode. Okay, that came out pretty good. What do you think, guys? Boy, I'd love to see what you did, huh? <laughs> Halloween. Love it. Candy corns. Happy Halloween, everybody. Okay, remember to keep trolling now, right? Alright. Bye now.